Hey everyone, okay, so in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about Club 33 coming to Disney World in a huge way. Alright, so it was announced the other day that Walt Disney World is not getting one Club 33, they're getting four of them. In Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, uh, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. And the, each one of these uh, 33s are going to be themed to Walt and Lily... Walt and Lillian Disney's, um, like, worldly adventures, okay? So I have some some pros to this and some cons to this, and I'm going to kind of go over each one with you guys. Right off the bat, I'm going to start off with the pros. I really like that concept of theming each one to Walt and Lillian's worldly adventures. It reminds me very much of the movie Up and their adventure book. I don't know. I think it's a really cute concept, and I think it would actually kind of work. You know, for each venue, you can have, like for Disney's Hollywood Studios, you can have pictures of Walt and Lillian uh, in old school Hollywood, we know, when they first arrived. Um, in Animal Kingdom, you can have pictures of, like, Walt and Lily, Lillian, um, maybe their trips to, like, Africa, if they went to Africa, I don't know, <laughs> but stuff like that. Um, and then, uh, for Epcot, you can have pictures of, like, Walt and Lillian, um, you know, their family trips to, like, Europe or something like that. So, I, I think the concept actually has a lot of potential, okay? I do. I really like that idea of... Walt and Lillian's worldly adventures, and each one is themed to that. That's a cool concept. Really great. Here's my issue, okay? Um, I've been to Club 33 at Disneyland, and I've also been to 1901 many times at California Adventure. I love these places. I love these venues. Uh, the reason why I love Club 33 so much, though, at Disneyland is that there's a history there. There's a connection to Walt, right? Um... 1901, there isn't that connection to, there, there isn't that, like, direct connection to Walt, but the energy and the vibe is so great in there. When you walk in, it, it feels like old school Hollywood. He's got pictures of all his nine old men and all the, all the old time animators and pictures of Walt at a studio in the, in the 30s, and it's really r awesome. I love 1901, okay? I love it. So... That's great. My issue, though, is franchising this concept out, turning them into Starbucks, turning them into McDonald's, where, you know what, we're going to replicate and duplicate and put them all over the place, okay? And this isn't like, I'm not bashing Walt Disney World, okay? This, this is actually something that even before Disney World and before this announcement, Disney has been doing. Shanghai opened with a Club 33. Tokyo has a Club 33. I don't agree with it. I don't. I think Club 33, at least the name of the restaurant, okay, should be reserved for the one in Disneyland. The one, the original uh, restaurant that, uh, that has a connection to Walt. I don't so much mind when they branch off and they and they name them different things like for example they branched off and they put a a, a club in in uh California Adventure right but they didn't call it club 33 west or anything crazy like that they called it 1901 they named it something different you still need a club 33 membership to get into 1901 but it's not club 33 now here's my beef is that the rest of the ones around the world, Shanghai, Tokyo, they all have the name Club 33. That's where I have the issue. I don't mind if you have to use a Club 33 membership to get into another club with a different name. It's totally fine. But don't name it Club 33. There should be one Club 33, and that's the one in Anaheim, California. That's it. The one on, on Royal Street should be the only Club 33 in existence, okay? And that's just me being a stupid, petty Disney fanboy, okay? But that's how I feel. Okay, that's my personal opinion. Okay, so now we get this announcement that Disney World is going to have four of them. Okay, four Club 33s. Now, I really hope, I hope, hope, hope that each one of these restaurants have a different name. I really hope that the Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios of Club 33s 
they all have a unique name and, and their own unique personality, okay? Because, like I said before, Club 33 is uniquely Disneyland. It's just stay at Disneyland, be Disneyland, and have... Uh, it should have that connection to Walt, okay? Without them franchising it out across the world. They've already done it with Tokyo. They've already done it with Shanghai. That's enough, okay? So... That's my big concern with this announcement. We don't really know much else. My prediction, I think the Magic Kingdom in Florida will get a, an official Club 33. I do. I think it'll be called Club 33. I think Hollywood Studios and all those other secondary parks like Epcot and all that, I think they'll receive like 1901 style clubs um, where you need a Club 33 membership. But it's not technically Club 33. That's my prediction. But I don't know. I, I you know, look. It, when it comes to this, I, 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 my own personal belief is that the only club that should be called Club 33 is the one at Disneyland. That ship, I get it, has totally already sailed. They've already made multiple Club 33s already. But. I really hope in Florida they don't just like, you know, like Xerox Club 33 like four different times. Call them something different. Rebrand them. You know, I understand that they're going to be that they're going to be themed to Walt and Lily Lillian's, you know, worldly adventures and that's great. I love that concept. Like I said earlier in my video, it, it reminds me of Up, you know. It's really a kind of a cool little concept, but don't call each one Club 33. Name them something different. Give them their unique identities, right? And separate them from the original 33 in Anaheim. So that's all I'm asking. <laughs> that's all I'm asking. You know, you can have the, the, the exclusive club. That's fine. You can have four of them. That's fine. Call them something different. Like what Disney did when they, when they did 1901, right? It wasn't Club 33 West. It was 1901. It had its own identity, so I'm hoping the ones in Florida have each each one of them has their own identity, and whether you need a Club 33 membership to get in or not, you know that's besides the point. But don't call them all Club 33, okay? That's where I'm at issue. So let me know what you guys think below. I mean, this subject it, it kind of went through uh, Disney, the Disney online community, Disney Twitter like wildfire. Everyone's talking about this subject. What do you guys think? Should they should they have Club 33 in other places? Is R4 of them in Florida? Is that overkill? Do you agree with me that you don't really mind so much that if they make more Club 33s but just don't call them Club 33? Um, so comment below. I love when you guys comment. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all the support. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.